What's up, you guys? I've had a couple of people ask me about the side panels that I have on my views. So I'll just click over and around so you guys can actually see it. So once again, before we go through my code for this, um, this whole entire view is a picture entities card. And everything else is just stacked inside of it. Along with that, this is just an overview of all the different um, kind of custom cards that I have. And I can be using any one of these cards at any point in time. Um, the weather card, I know for sure we're going to use. So let's hop into the code. Let's see. Let's get back here. So all of this code is on every one of my views and all my views are very very long um so let's just go through we are in panel mode it's a picture elements card i think i said entities before um this image right here let's see It's in images and it is legitimately just a 20% transparent background for my official background. And let's see, let's hop back over into my K doc. So my elements start, and of course, this is just for the side panel. Um, the next image is what I called weather bar. It's pretty much just that same, uh, transparent background, just flipped a different way and given a bit of a box shadow just so it can make that kind of, uh, nested effect right here. You can tell this little side is just a bit darker than that one. So let's keep going. If you look at any of my other cards, I have um, I've shown you my sensor.yaml. So this is just a custom state element for my sensor.yaml that, that points to one of the sensors I've, I've made in my sensor.yaml. Then it's just style. That toggle action actually doesn't do anything yet. Um, and then here we go. Just day of the week. Same thing. I made a sensor for the current day of the week. And it's a state element. And we'll go down month, the same thing. Um, day of the month, same thing. Just a custom sensor made for it. And then we get into the summary for the weather. Which if you add dark skies, you can um, actually add your summaries and stuff like that onto it. So here we go. Dark skies, monitor condition. Summary and see hourly, minutely. I use all of that um, at some point. Then we go down. So that actual image is attached to um, an entity that Dark Sky makes when you add all of those monitor conditions in, and that's day one. And then the state image, I actually just went and pulled. Um, SVGs from the actual weather card icons and then you can just use the SVGs from the weather card like they've already done all that work for you and then it's just style so it this little card over here is literally just information stacked on top of each other and then styled to look like it is one individual card and in all honesty guys that's all of my views here it's just styled and then some of them have a couple of extra things that i'm working on here's one thing that i'm working on it's going to end up being on all of them but a pop-out card that does give you that detailed information 
So right now when you click on it, it just comes up and gives you the information for that specific day, just the state of that icon. But once I actually finish working on this pop-up card, you'll get like the precipitation for that day, um, humidity for that day. So it actually looks more like an app for weather on your actual screen. And the point of all this is to take up this whole screen, to really make it look like something custom made just for my house and nobody else's. It's the same point of like this card here. Really, when it's on a tablet, it looks like it is custom built just for my house and nobody else. Um, so if you want that look that other people get from like Control 4 or one of those other expensive systems, like go for your picture elements card and then just build it out. And it's not hard to maintain once it's built out because you already have an idea of where you want everything to go. So if you want to go through this code, I'll take just slow the video down at different points. And it should give you a really good overview of how to make something like this happen. And the beauty of this is I made it once and then I just copied it and pasted it inside each individual view. And if you'll notice, as I make these videos, you'll always see like these big chunks of commented out information. So when I'm looking on the side, I know where to go. It makes it so much easier. And um, all my videos are done in, or all of my coding is done in YAML mode instead of UI because of just how long my codes are. So let's take a look at something like living room. Just on that living room view alone, I'm up to 789 lines of code. So much of that is just copied and pasted, but I couldn't do something like this in the UI. I could, but it'd be super frustrating. Um, but yeah, if you guys have any other questions about how I make this little custom weather side panel or anything else that you see in my UI, go ahead and drop a comment and I'll see if I can make a video to follow that up. Um, I also want to shout out the guy on Facebook who helped me get my little um, image for my album art. So that was a big, huge help. Thank you so much. Um, like, subscribe, comment. Let me know if there's any other videos you guys want to see. Thank you. Hey, I just wanted to say again, thank you, Simon Tilburg. Awesome. Thank you so much for helping me out with that um, album art. Have a good one, you guys.